I'm Stephanie Shute Kelch, the minister here at Second Parish in Hingham, the second oldest church in town, located on Main Street in the Glad Tidings area. And today I'd like to share with you some Glad Tidings about the Memorial Day holiday. Originally conceived of as a day to honor those who died in service to our country. The holiday has come to mean different things to different people. Some of us visit cemeteries to honor our military dead. Some of us attend local ceremonies. Some of us pause at three o'clock in the afternoon on Memorial Day itself for a national moment of remembrance. Some of us plan barbecues and family trips and see Memorial Day as the signal that summer has begun. This year will be different. While our, our country is reopening in different stages, many people will be aware of the social distancing still needed in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, which means that this year, for the first time in many years, it would seem that more of us will be able to understand some of what those who serve in the military experience. Oh, we can't understand all they experience. But there are three things into which we now can have greater insight. For one thing, we have a greater understanding of the restrictions our military personnel feel in terms of their personal liberties. This pandemic has restricted our personal liberties because we ourselves have experienced requirements to avoid group groups and to wear masks. We might have a better insight into how those who serve in the military cannot do everything they want the way they want. They must abide by regulations designed to serve the common good, not individual desire. Our stay at home and safer at home experience gives us a window into such limitations in a way many of us have never before truly appreciated. We have also gained greater insight into what the military's repeated insistence on routine and protocol might mean. For two months, we have been caught in grinding routines, what many have described as a Groundhog's Day experience after the popular 1993 movie. Some have claimed boredom as the predominant effect of the pandemic, and any who have served in the military know that routine and repetition, and thus sometimes boredom, is indeed a part of their service. The moments of quick action so often glamorized in movies and books actually represent but a fraction of how our military personnel spend their time. Finally, we have reached a greater understanding and appreciation of how uncertainty can drain our energy and weaken our resolve. Not knowing day to day what to expect for guidance through the pandemic, if there will be enough medical knowledge, or equipment or a vaccine, for example, and constantly wondering about the health of our loved ones and ourselves have been hallmarks of the COVID-19 experience. For so many who serve in the military, particularly in times and places of conflict, uncertainty is a regular companion. The not knowing, the inability to plan, requires a unique strength of faith to overcome. Perhaps the pandemic aids us in finally appreciating what so many prepared for and preparing to defend our rights must endure. As civilians, we are often quick to demand our rights and insist upon what we believe we deserve. This Memorial Day, this particular 2020 Memorial Day, however, we are better placed to understand the citizen soldiers, all who have given up some of their freedoms over the years some who have given up their businesses and livelihoods, and there have some their very lives to serve our country. In just a few months, we have had a taste of what it might mean to accept limitations and dangers, responding in ways that will serve the common good more than the individual preference. In understanding that, we come closer to being able to honor those who have served our country in so many ways, at such deep cost, and with such profound hope. May deeper understanding of their sacrifice and commitment make us wiser and more appreciative citizens. Thank you.